there in the gate. And they're off then, racing in the Wednesday opener. Breaking on top is Ultimate Baroness. Yes, it's Erie right there into second. On the far outside, Emerald Citadel goes right by them all and quickly gets away to a three-length lead over Ultimate Baroness. Down towards the inside, this ain't Jump Street. He's matching strides to Kozar's Queen to the outside. Behind that group is, yes, it's Erie. And the trailer is the two Nancys. It's all Emerald Citadel. Chris Fox out there with a four-and-a-half-length lead. Says, catch me if you can. In second, Ultimate Baroness trying to reel that one in. On the far outside, Kozar's Queen. And then comes the St. Jump Street. Right behind that, yes, it's Erie. Erie, and a gap of four more to the two Nancys. Emerald Citadel out there with the lead, still clear. It's got the advantage by a good four lengths. In second comes Kozar's Queen trying to run that one down. Up the inside, this ain't Jump Street now, M mounting a late bid. And on the far outside, yes, it's Erie trying to close in. Emerald Citadel with the lead. Outside, Kozar's Queen inside, this ain't Jump Street. Further out, yes, it's Erie now moving up quickly after Emerald Citadel. Emerald Citadel screaming out for the wire, but yes, it's Erie tried, couldn't get there. Emerald Citadel held them all off and got the win in the opener. Second best was yes, it's Erie, tight for fourth between the St. Jump Street and Ultimate Baroness. There in the gate. And they're off and racing in the second. On the outside, two docks, I don't brag, and heavenly praise break together for the lead. Moving through on the inside, here comes Reina's rolling up to stick a nose in front. And then in between horses, we have Hidden Metal. At the back of the pack early is Elation. Short lead inside for Reina's rolling, a deal I yella in the two path. That is Hidden Metal. Then outside in third, two docks, I don't brag. Now moving from fourth, here comes the favorite, heavenly praise, Kazushi Kamaro asking this one for more. And he'll move up and challenge for third on the inside, still two and a half back. Back to Elation. On the inside, Reyna's Roland has the advantage. Outside in second, that is Heavenly Praise. And now in third from the inside is going to be Hidden Metal. Outside, two docks, I don't brag. And three lengths back to Elation. On the outside, Hidden Metal, Huber Villa Gomez striking the lead. Moving to the three path. Here comes the favorite, Heavenly Praise down the center. Right behind them up the rail, Elation making a late move. Reyna's Roland trying to dig in, but Heavenly Praise, the favorite now moves and takes the lead and looks to pull away the six to five shots going to win like a six to five shot should much the best here elation a late bit up for second hanging on for third on the inside will be reina's rolling but no doubt about the winner heavenly praise in one ten and one and they're up and racing uh, quickly for the lead is Del Griffith along with Strange Arrange there on the far outside. Now moving up the rail, Blankenstein moves through and takes second and now takes the lead. Del Griffith sitting second, Strange Arrange is third, and at the back is Call Me Later. It's still... Blankenstein on that lead. Del Griffith now asks for a little bit more, trying to stay close to Blankenstein as they make their way to the turn. Right off the pace, sitting in third is Strange Range, and at the back of the pack still is Call Me Later. Blankenstein with the lead. Del Griffith there on the outside, inching closer. There's still three lengths back to Strange Range, then another five or six to the trailer. Call Me Later. Here comes a challenge on the outside from Del Griffith. Now going after lead, digging in Blankenstein on the inside. These two knocking heads, and right behind them, Strange Arrange looms large in third, and then back forth is Call Me Later. It's Del Griffith and Blankenstein. These two headed for the winner's circle. One of these two, Blankenstein on the inside, Del Griffith on the outside, three wide. Here comes Strange Arrange putting a late bid. Del Griffith and Blankenstein. Blankenstein digging in. Ho! Oh, photo finish. That is so close. Back in third, Strange Arrange and Call Me Later was fourth, but it's very close. And they're off and racing. A good even break, break from the inside. Here comes Bad Pay and Winning Tough. Those two vying for the lead early. On the far outside, up into third comes Gucci Gal. Behind them inside is Royal Gold Digger. Then comes Waterloo Sunset. Moving up on the far outside of that group is Run Laughing, full of Run, and at the back are going to be Bell's Kingdom and Squat Up. Right now on the inside, Bad Pay has a short lead. On the outside of that one, battling with that leader is going to be 
Number five, Winning Tough, is right there behind them. Gucci Gal and Walbur Allen Carr moving up from third. And fourth to the far outside comes Run Laughing. Behind them, it's Royal Gold Digger and Matcha at the back of the pack. Squad up and Bell's Kingdom off the turn and headed for home. On a short lead in the center of the track is going to be Gucci Gal. Bad pay on the inside. Here comes a late bit on the far outside from Run Laughing. Run Laughing and Gucci Gal. These two stride for stride up on the outside. Outside comes squad up. It's going to be run laughing with the win. Second best was Gucci girl. Photo finish for the show though between squad up and Waterloo sunset. Winning time was 103 and four fifth seconds. And they're off. Far outside, Ocean 8 comes out running for the early lead, rushing from the inside, Baby Wonders, and Float Away now moving up, and it's Baby Wonders who takes the early lead. In second between horses, Linguistic is on the move. On the far outside is She's a Rednecker. Then along the inside, looking to move up, Float Away. Outside of them is Ocean Size. Another link back to Wild Irish outside of Sweet Amy and a long ways back to Ostera. Opening quarter goes in 21 and 3. It's a quick pace. Baby Wonders, short lead right alongside. Linguistic is there applying the pressure. Up into third on the outside. She's Rednecker is going to be joined further out by Ocean Size. Then in the inside, that is Float Away. Moving up three wide is Wild Irish, Sweet Amy between horses. They come off the turn and it is Linguistic. Uh, Rocco Bowen with the advantage. Right behind him in second, Ocean Size. Size, then she's Rednecker on the far outside. Wild Irish making a late bid, but Linguistic and Rocco Bowen have the lead. They're eight to five, and they're just pulling away from the pack. No doubt about this winner. Chuck it up, Linguistic, going to win by a country mile here. She's Rednecker, clear cut second, back in third. Wild Irish, photo finish for the fourth position to round off the Subaru, either Sweet Amy or Ocean Size. Unofficial winning time, 109 flat. They're all in line. And they're off and racing. Outside, Rodin Stone comes out running for the early lead. Into second, that is Bandit of the Prairie. Then comes Study Long, Study Wrong. And at the back is El Policia. It's Rodin Stone. Walbert Almancar says go early here. He's got the lead by two lengths. Bandit of the Prairie in pursuit second. Back in third, that is Study Long, Study Wrong. And at the back, moving up is El Policia with Huber Villa Gomez. Quarter one and 22 and four. Rodin Stone continues to set those fractions and hold the advantage by three over Bandit of the Prairie. Back third towards the inside. Study long, study wrong. And then up alongside, here comes a late bid from El Policia, who's got a lot to do if they're going to catch Rodin Stone out there on the leads. Got it by two and a half. Bandit of the Prairie is gaining on the leader. Back in third, study long, study wrong. Then El Policia at the back. Rote in stone, try to hold the lead. Here comes Bandit of the Prairie on the outside, trying to get to the leader. Up the inside, that is study long, study wrong. In deep stretch, Bandit of the Prairie coming after Rodin Stone. These two stride for stride. Bandit of the Prairie will prevail. Getting the win over Rodin Stone. Back in third, study long, study wrong. And in fourth was El Policia. Winning time, 110 flat. And racing in the seventh. Light Mission comes out running for the lead in the center of the track up the rail. Twirling Mamba quickly catches up and is challenging for the lead. Far outside, Petite Verdot is there racing in third. Another length and a half back to where you was, followed by Gins and Tins. And at the back, Zumbi, followed by Summerfest. On the rail, it's Life Mission. Pablo Morales sent out after the lead, just a length and a quarter better than Petite Verdot. Then racing back in the third position along the inside, Twirling Mamba. On the outside comes Where You Was, Gins and Tins, got a lot to do, and the trailer remains another two lengths behind, and that is Summerfest. Quarter mile, 22 and two-fifths seconds, short lead for life mission. Petite Verdant on the outside now, gaining on the leader. Back in third is Twirling Mamba, about to be joined between horses Where You Was, and outside Petite Verdant in with a chance, and then comes Gins and Tins. It's still life mission with a short lead. Petite Verdant right there on the outside, then coming up into third is Twirling Mamba. 
up the rail, gins and tins. Outside, Petite Verdot's got the lead. Here comes Twirling Mamba on the outside. Twirling Mamba's going to get up in time and get the victory. A head bob for place, either Petite Verdot or gins and tins. Tight for fourth as well. That was either life mission or where you was. Winning time, 109 flat. And they're off in the eighth. From the inside, pre-qualified, down the center, there goes Castle King. Further out, Chaos Kid now up the tackle, pre-qualified for the lead. Dropping back and cutting over towards the rail is going to be Castle King. Then sitting in the third position on the outside comes No Drama. Back towards the inside of that one is going to be Market Mover. Then we drop back another two lengths to Castle King, Atlantic Ruler. The early trailers are Fierce Warrior and Traffic Thief. The quarter 24 flat and down the backside on the in rail is pre-qualified. Mike Allen showing the way alongside... In second, now going after the lead is Chaos Kid. Just two lengths back of that group is going to be No Drama and Market Mover sitting in the fourth position. Up into fifth is Atlantic Ruler gaining momentum. Then comes Fierce Warrior and Castle King is at the back of that group a long ways back to Traffic Thief. Half mile was a quick pace, 47 flat. And outside, Chaos Kid, Rocco Bowen, short lead. Inside, pre-qualified is right there trying to keep up. Now moving up to take the third spot. On the outside is going to be Market Mover and then No Drama. We go back another two lengths on the outside. Here comes Fierce Warrior trying to make up some ground. Then up the rail comes an Atlantic Ruler. And further back is Castle King. Off the turn, there's five of them fanned across the track. And another sneaking up the rail trying to get to pre-qualified. On the outside, closing the gap is going to be Fierce Warrior. And furthest out, here comes Castle King and Pablo Morales. Three of them across the track, Chaos Kid. And on the outside, it's going to be Castle King getting up. Castle King in a photo finish with Fierce Warrior. It will be Castle King. Back in third was Atlantic Ruler rounding off the super Chaos Kid. Winning time, 142 and three.